everyone. In the previous class, we have discussed about grid velocity and electric currents. And today we are going to discuss about the relationship between electric current and drift velocity. That is the most important topic for you. If you please write down the relation between relation between electric current electric current and drift velocity this is the today's topic that is a PD it is a window act as PD E E tau <coughs> by M we have already found it so this is the topic we will discuss today relation between electric current and drift velocity we know both the term what is electric current and what is the drift velocity as well so we'll try to find out or we'll try to establish the relation between electric current and drift velocity so for this what we'll do we'll consider a wire let us consider a wire in the form of a conductor and uh, now I'll fit this wire with the connections of a battery as far as our previous conception is concerned we found that due to fitting of this battery there will be some potential difference and this potential difference will apply force on the free electrons and free electrons will move in another direction and electric currents will turn, uh, I mean move in another direction hence the directions of free electrons inside the conductor is opposite with respect to the directions of electric current so we can say that these are free electrons and these free electrons will move suppose in this direction and this direction will be known as drift velocity as I have told you that average velocity of free electrons inside the conductor is known as drift velocity and this would be the directions of electric field or electric current let us consider the area of cross sections of this wire is A what is this A? A is the area of cross section and the length of this wire is supposed to be L if this write down something let's consider a wire let's consider a wire of length l and uh, area of cross section a pd is the drift velocity and uh, here we have fixed a battery so that we can produce a potential difference hence an electric current produced or electric field is produced now from this diagrams we can see what we can see now again you write down so we can write the number of number of p electrons in per unit volume of water wire number of Three electrons in per unit volume of the wire if I consider this is supposed to be M area of cross section is area of cross section of the wire is A so as we found that number of free electrons in per unit volume of the wire is M and the area of the cross section is A so we can write the volume of volume of the wire better to write total volume total volume of the wire we can write is equal to MA <coughs> okay total volume of the wire will be what NA now if I write total number of total free electrons total free electrons in the wire total 
free electrons in the wire will be how much we can write this NAL this is the volume and the total length will also be multiplied here this NAL so total free electrons in the wire will be what NAL now one more thing we should find out the total amount of charge you can write total charge moving in the wire total charge moving in the wire that is i am expressing it as q so to be what minus n a l e why it is coming minus since electron we have considered and these electrons are coming as minus is that clear so this is the basic startings of this particular relationship a number of free electrons in part of volume of the wire is n area of the cross sections of the wire is a total volume of the wire will be na that is quite quite fortunate you understand it total free electrons in the wire will be nal total charge moving in the wire is be what minus nale now we know that what we know now we know you can write we know that electric current i is equal to q upon t electric current i is equal to q upon t we know this particular equation or formula so if i put now the value of q from here i the value of q i have written minus n a minus n a l e upon t so this is going to be like that so value of q is what minus n a l e upon t i have put the value of q from here nothing else now in this case i is equal to one thing you can sort it out from here this minus n a minus n a e is fine minus n a is fine here you can write minus n a e okay but one term as you can see so this is l and this is t so what is l by t you can write what is this l this l is the length of the particular wire we have considered and if i consider that this time t is the time taken to move a charge from one end of the wire to another end of the wire you can write down these things what is this l this l is what it is obviously given l is the length of the wire mind these things very carefully that this l is the length of the wire and if i consider this t time that means this t is the time taken by a charge by a charge to move from one end of the wire to another end of the wire then we can write that this will be l by t this l by t as you can write as pd this l by t you can write as this l by t you can write as velocity drift velocity you can write this is l by t as pd because we know that this is length this is time this is velocity so velocity is equal to length upon time like that also we can find out this so again i am telling this l is this l is the length of the wire and this t is time taken by an electron to move from one end of the wire to the other end of the wire so we can write that this is l by t as equal to pd so ultimate relation will become here n a this is n a e pd and this is the relation between electric current and drift velocity you can write now so i is equal to minus n a e pd so this is the relation between electric current and drift velocity i hope you have understood so you can write that this is the relation between electric current and drift velocity so i is equal to minus n a e p d what is n number of free electrons in part in the volume of the uh, wire and what is this a area of cross sections of the wire and this is e electron free elect this is e electrons and p d is going to be your drift velocity next one more thing you should know 
that is your current density and uh, electron mobility one topic i will clear today only so write down the next topic will be your mobility this mobility will be denoted as mu <coughs> okay so this is mobility what is this mobility is that mobility is nothing it is we can write that mobility is equal to dv upon e this is the mobility okay this is the mobility so you can define as that diff velocity it is defined as it is defined as diff velocity of a charge carrier diff velocity of a charge carrier in per unit electric field in per unit electric field or per unit cross sections of an electric field you can write it is defined as the drift velocity of a charge carrier in per unit cross sectional area of an electric field or you can write like this also this is expressed as mu is equal to vd upon e where vd is drift velocity and e is your electric field so this mu can be expressed again as this is vd we have found that i mean uh, vd expressions what is vd expressions you please remember it you can put the value of drift velocity over here so drift velocity you can put out if you put the values of drift velocity and this will be your definitions of another definitions of mobility so what was drift velocity as if if, if you uh, know it this is a uh, drift velocity was e e tau by m okay e e tau by m e e tau by m was a drift velocity and divided by electric field e so i can write down this is e e tau by m is drift velocity and this is electric field e so Another expressions of drift velocity will be so if I uh, write these things so it will e e cancel this is e e tau so you can simplify this is m and this is going to be your e so we can write that mobility is equal to e tau by m so this is one more expressions of mobility so okay next is your the current density current density current density is expressed as z current density current density is expressed as j so it is very simple so current density j is equal to amount of electric current thrown in per unit cross sectional area of a conductor so j is equal to i by a you can write it is defined as is defined as amount of current amount of current i flown in per unit area of per unit area of in per unit area you can write okay so this is uh, current density it is defined as amount of current flown in per unit area am i clear so this is your current density and the uh, unit of current density you can find out that uh, what is the unit of it its unit is you can this is electric current that is ampere ampere this is your area that is meter this ampere per meter square current has got a unit of ampere and area is going to be your meter square so this is current density that is expressed as z this is i by a if i consider suppose if i am considering a cross section here of a conductor 
and suppose here the amount of current flowing is I. I might feel the amount of current flowing is I and the cross section is going to be here A and this ratio will be expressed as J. Am I clear? So one word you can use that it is defined as amount of current I flown in part in an area of part in an area of a cross section of cross section of a conductor. <clears throat> okay, so these are the things for today's class. Uh, relationship between relation between electric current and drift velocity we have found current density we have found and we have also found what is mobility i hope you'll gone through it and if any doubt you can inbox me the next class will come with a new topic thank you